And Brian PD says they were in that specific neighborhood to patrol after social media posts indicated there could be trouble. However, some members of the community believe police are targeting their patrols because it's a minority community. Well, we talked with local BCF, BCS community activist Ebony Peterson on why she believes there's a disconnect between police and minorities in our community. Fourth of July, one of the biggest days out of the year to set off fireworks, turns into a brawl in Bryan. The whole city was doing fireworks. But in the 700 block of East MLK, co-founder of Black Lives Matter BCS Ebony Peterson says she thinks Bryan police were already prepared to engage in that specific area. I have friends that who aren't minorities that don't live in minority communities. And I asked them, I was like, did you guys pop fireworks in your neighborhood? And they were like, yeah, we, you know, we do all the time. And I was like, well, did you ever see any cops present? And they were like, no. According to the probable cause statement on the arrests made by the Bryan Police Department, there were officers in the area. Quote, DDT or directed deployment team was tasked with maintaining order and safety in the pepper tree slash fin feather area of the city. End quote. Peterson says she's not against law enforcement doing their jobs, but this latest clash between minority communities and the Bryan Police Department is only fueling divide. However, she says there's still time to fix the relationship and move forward. I've heard that they have already had diversity training and all of this other thing. So whatever that they have going on is not working. So it's definitely just a time for some change. Bryan Police Public Information Officer Cole Taylor tells me the DDT is like a vice unit. The team is sent out to specific areas to patrol.